And let's take you through some of the headlines now. At least 40 people have been killed in an explosion at a political meeting in northwest Pakistan. It happened in the Bajawa district bordering Afghanistan. More than 200 others have been injured. Chad's president is meeting Niger's coup leaders to negotiate a peaceful end to the crisis. It follows an ultimatum issued by the West African regional bloc warning coup leaders to reinstate the president within a week or face military action. Thousands of supporters of the coup have gathered in Niger's capital. France is condemning an attack on the gates of its compound. It says it will not hesitate to respond if French nationals are harmed. Ahmed Idris has more from the summit in Abuja. We know Chad is an observer with the economic community of West African states, being a Central African state. But again, uh, his, we also heard in some of the resolutions that ECOWAS is sending a delegation to Chad. Now, considering the fact that ECOWAS delegation has been spanned before by the military authorities in Niger, the presence of Idris Mohamed Debi is an indication that he is trying to negotiate a peaceful settlement to this particular crisis. And that's what's been happening today in this venue. Russia's defense ministry says three Ukrainian drones have been downed over Moscow. Two crashed into skyscrapers in the business district. Authorities closed a nearby airport. It's the deepest attack into Moscow since May. People in Central African Republic are voting in a referendum that could allow the president to stay in power longer if past President Faustin Archange Tuadara could potentially serve for another 16 years. Palestinian factions are meeting in Egypt to discuss reconciliation. The meeting includes President Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah party and Hamas, which governs the Gaza Strip. Islamic Jihad is boycotting the meeting. At least six Palestinians have been killed and several wounded in confrontations in Lebanon's Ayn al-Halwa refugee camp.